of late there are incidents of even the king cobra coming out in a big way in kerala uh, without any exaggeration i must say an average one a month a king cobra come out from the forest to the uh, mainland so posing a problem for the people and uh, fortunately there are a couple of uh, experienced snake catchers even to catch them and take them back to the forest all this shows the deterioration of the ecosystem in which the snakes live so we have to strike a balance between the two uh, the snakes should be preserved the snakes are essential components of the ecosystem so do the human beings the history of the snake biosensor concept came about 5 or 6 years ago when my friends um, dr joseph k joseph and dr jaydeep menon who are dedicated uh, uh, doctors involved in the uh, treatment of snake snake bite patients they they express the concern about the increased uh, snake bite cases in kerala the purpose of this instrument is to detect the species or the snake which bit the subject when one is brought to the hospital not only it does say the uh, snake spe- snake species but also it will say the quantum of uh, toxin or quantum of poison present in the body fluids like uh, blood or urine of that of that subject it is believed that we have four big four snakes and currently the treatment is anti snake venom treatment based on a polyvalent anti snake venom so we give four four venoms into a horse and take the antibody and then treat so if a snake bite victim subject comes to the hospital and without knowing the species without knowing the snake, which snake bit the patient the doctor the only ch- choice available before the doctor or the clinician is to ad- is a symptomatic approach and once he is convinced that yes a poisonous snake bit the subject the only uh, choice available to him is to inject the anti venom so which means only one snake bit the patient you are administering three other antibodies into the patient so even if he survives the quality of life for the rest of the period is is bad because you have the three antib- antibodies of the three other uh, uh, snake species which get do not get neutralized in the in the blood remains there if he was bitten by a viper for example the toxic effects of other three snakes will be manifested in his lifetime uh, in terms of uh, he, in terms of ulcer in terms of in terms in terms of kidney failure the quality of life the rest of the rest of the period will be badly affected with this kind of treatment the biosensors are i think available already in some countries like us and australia probably singapore also where the diversity of snake is not that abundant even though we are developing a biosensor taking the venom from the the big four snakes from kerala at the most what we needed would be later on when we are mastering this technology here you can extrapolate it to, to other states if there's need for a state specific or state species specific biosensor development it should not be a problem so we have couple of snake catchers but who are not allowed to milk the snakes uh, but it is a good idea to give or to involve the tribal people uh, uh, taking it as a model i suppose it's a good idea actually to to have a center like that yes so having heard the clinicians and their experiences in dealing with snake bite cases when they come to the hospital and then the follow up treatment uh i think uh, uh, if this biosensor becomes a reality and the other technology which i said the um, bioinformatic tool for before the identification of any snake using the scales of the head so both of them are complementary if both of them are successful i think the the clinicians can sort of rework a new protocol 
and begin all over again which will ease their uh, job and which will be beneficial for uh, snake venom therapy of our state of the country in fact